All right, the project today is on my 76 Triumph Bonneville 750. I'm looking to add some saddlebags. These are actual equestrian or horse saddlebags that I got off of eBay. They were stitched together here. I saved the leather cord in case I wanted it. But I've taken them apart. They're very stiff, heavy duty, sort of rough cut, which I like. And my plan is to add them right here. So I'll need to trim this back flap a little bit. And then once that's on, I can, uh, using the leather, I can tightly tie this to the uh, inside. I'll have to drill some holes through the back. Um, and then it will be free of the shocks. Actually, it will go here so that I'll be, it clears the turn signal so that I can open it. It's high enough off the exhaust. My, uh, the angle of it, the, the shock itself will keep it from getting sort of drawn into the, into the wheel or brake. It wouldn't hit the brake anyway, but so I'm going to see if I can do this without any metal, um, brackets or braces of any kind given that this is such stiff leather so uh, we'll see how it goes all right so I've got this folded over I want this right about here so I'll need to trim a little bit of this away so that it can notch there and then this and right where the this bracket turns right about here I think I'll need to cut actually I want it to go flat more like here so I'll cut I'll make these cuts so that I can uh, fit the flap over I'm just gonna cut out what I need to fit I'm not gonna cut all the way down I want to keep as much of this back leather piece as possible so that I can attach it, maybe even lace it through here on these holes to the back to really hold it on there tight. The rawhide is uh, extremely thick, so scissors are not doing it, so I'm actually using heavy duty wire cutters, snips, to get through. making it much easier. This saddlebag has not only very strong stitching here, but a couple of rivets. So I don't want to get too close to that, but I want to be able to trim it a little bit. This is going to be perfect. All right, I've made the cuts. There's a the flap is on the inside there. So I can tighten that down by uh, the leather cord that I saved, or I could even use zip ties. That's how it will look. I think it's looking good. I may need to trim these a little bit. These are particularly long. I highly doubt I'll ever need them to be that big, but that's not bad. I just, I don't want anything touching the exhaust. So I, what I'll do now is take this one off and uh, lay it flat and measure against the other. There are some, I've got this, the hinge here from the seat, but other than that, this is the same on this side. This has the additional chain guard here, but I've got the brake on the other side, so it's roughly the same location. So what I'll do here is, this is the one that I cut. 
it says got a notch to go around the front and a little bit cut there before I actually cut this one I'll just mark it and make sure that it actually looks right on the other side before I cut so I've marked on the uh, the back where I want these holes to go through to give me a nice tight clip and now I'll put a piece of wood inside the bag and then drill through so I don't accidentally uh, do any extra damage and then um, I'll test this with a couple of zip ties and see how it looks Got the first zip tie in and working the other one through. Well, this will tighten up nicely. I may end up getting a little bumping as this hits the shock. I suppose I could put uh, some attachment on the bottom here, a loop down to here to sort of hold it tight. I could uh, always drill through here and make a loop and use a leather strap to go from here to here to attach it, but we'll see. I don't know that it'll make too much noise. We'll get the rest of these laced up and see how it looks. So the right hand one is done. Uh, rather than trim these, because I kind of like them, I've notched it in the second hole. That really keeps it up away. If I needed to, I could always tuck this up under if I was worried about it. But I have a feeling that they're going to be all right. The zip ties lace it up nicely. I don't know if you can see it's dark but it doesn't, it can't go into the wheel because it hits the shock. So we'll finish up the one on the uh, left and we should be all set. All right, we're all done. These look great. I've uh, looped the small tabs through because they do touch the exhaust, but I think it's, uh, I think it's beautiful. I'm going to take it for a run now and see. You know, I'm curious if these flap a little bit in the uh, in the breeze, but very happy with the way it looks. looks good,